Okay, had a little bit of a technical hiccup there involving uh, me accidentally forgetting to uh, set a thing on the PS4 because of my weird setup, but whatever. It's all fixed. We're back in action. Kingdom Hearts action, that is. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be continuing on our... Ongoing adventures in the world of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Hello there, Lantern Flash. Welcome to the stream, Leo. I did something silly and uh, <laughs> forgot to uh, turn my uh, drive bay back on. Um, yes. But that's okay because it's all fixed now and my... 4 terabyte, my 5 terabyte PlayStation 4 hard drive is up and spinning again. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, in the previous stream, we, uh, we did quite a handful of fun things. We, uh, we saved Christmas once and for all. We also, uh, what the, what the hell was the other world? <laughs> the other world I did. Oh, I, we also saved the Pride Lands once and for all from evil Scar Ghosts, and we also finished, uh, you know, Ariel's nonsense in Atlantica. So now I'm gonna, um, just uh, check to make sure that my volume. Oh, I sound okay, right? I'm not doing the weird skippity thing, am I? Probably not, because you probably would not understand me if I did. Uh, I'm gonna turn you down maybe just a little bit, though. Yeah, okay, and we should be good. I'm gonna turn my inline up ever so slightly, though. Whoop! Yeah, there we go. Uh, and as for me, I am doing good. Um... Ooh, the world that never was. I don't think we're going there just quite yet. Because, like, I'm, what, level 45, I think? Uh... Yeah, good. Sorry, level 44? Yeah, definitely not doing World That Never Was, but I'm pretty sure we can actually go back to the Tron world and level up a little bit there. Yeah, Hallow Bastion. There's things to do here. So let's go there. Ooh, cutscene. That's how you know shit's getting real. Wait a sec. I thought everything was supposed to be under control here. How <laughs> Must be Organization 13 again. We better go see Leon. Now the weird teleporting attack... ...things are just firing at nothing. Except now they're not because the cutscene's over. Whoop. Hey, yeah. Aside from that weird little technical hiccup that was kind of my own fault, I, uh... I have a weird setup. Um, everything is pretty good. Oh, what are you saying, Cloud? I'm not interested in what becomes of this world. Besides you, uh, besides, you and the others should be enough to handle things. I thought you were getting back to playing KH1. I mean, it's whatevs, right? Um, I know you were having some difficulties with certain things, but, uh... As I've said before, and as, uh... Other beans have said to me, when in doubt, just grind a bit. You'll get there. Whoa! Hey, it's the Tron battle music! That's a little strange, but whatever. I like this battle music. Back off, asshole. You were, you just may have forgotten to save and do the- Oh, no! Rule number one about older JRPGs, always save. They're like one of the few things out there that don't auto-save. I mean, some some newer ones do, but definitely, uh, definitely not Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is way too old school for that shit. Ooh. 
<clears throat> Sorry. Come on in. I mean, come on in. Wait just a second. What happened to this place? Didn't... Didn't that Heartless look like the ones from Tron's world? Come on, just get inside! Something's a brewin'. Hurry up, Sid! Give me a second! Confound it, hur confound it, hurry! Why, you... What's going on? Talk about, uh, talk about your good timing. Again, I know that's not his actual voice in the game, but Kingdom Hearts 1 has sent me on him having that voice, so fuck it! It's kinda like how Santa's voice doesn't sound like the South Park Santa, but I insist on using the South Park Santa voice, so, yeah. The MCP is wreaking havoc inside the computer! Not again! According to Leon, anyway. Yeah, we definitely got to fix. Oh, over to Ansem study to find out what all the ruckus was about. Leon knows how to use computers, apparently. That's funny to me. Oh dear. That doesn't look good. Turns out the MCP is using the data in that computer to crank out Heartless. Ugh. Sorry to hear that, dude. The MCP's been messing around with the town's control system, too. You know for next time, though. Obey the MCP? Ignorant users, obey the MCP. Fuck that. I'm the user. MCP sure doesn't know when to quit, does it? Okay, I should really start using the southern accent for Sid there. That's a computer program for you. How's Tron doing? We can't reach him. We figured he must have been forced into the game grid. And it don't sound like a particularly fun game, either. Oh, the light cycles? Light cycles are fun, man. Ah. Well, we'll go check on Tron. Thanks, kid. We're put- uh, We're putting together NPC eradication- We're putting together an MCP eradication program. I got a hunch it's almost finished, too. So basically, you're making a virus. You're making a virus to delete the master control program of the system. That doesn't sound like it could go wrong at all. Well, I mean, I guess it's already wrong, but you know, whatever. Well, I hope your well, I hope your hunch is right for once. Listen, we're gonna need Tron's help when the eradication program is completed, or the eradicator is completed. Don't sweat it. We'll make it, well, we'll make sure to tell Tron. Remember, boys, we're counting on you. Roger. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Merlin's house. Yeah, I don't know if you were around when this happened, but uh, last week I accidentally exited out to the title instead of saving after, uh, fighting Jafar again in this game. Fortunately, I saved right beforehand because I save rather manically in this game, like even right now. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like, uh, 
I almost made that mistake earlier. So... Yeah, you gotta- you gotta be very careful when it comes to these, uh... These older role-playing games. You should also be especially careful if you ever decide to play Valkyria Chronicles, because that game SAYS that it has autosave, but doesn't. It's fucking weird. Probably auto save settings, but that's probably it. Like, actual game itself, you gotta manual that. that she is. Whoop! The Pegasus Cup? Um. I don't remember that one being too difficult. I don't, re I don't remember the names of all the cups. I think the Pegasus Cup is a bit trickier. Uh, the Hercules Cup... Um, ...is definitely tough. And then there's the Hades Cup. Which, uh... That's the one that has, like, 50, uh, ranks in it. But fortunately, when you fight, uh... ...tournaments that have more than... ...10 ranks in it, you, uh, actually get to continue, uh... ...every 10 ranks. So... If you're playing the Hades Cup and you're at rank 35, you can actually just jump back to rank 40. As opposed to doing the... the as opposed to starting on 50 and doing uh, the, them all over again. But, again, sometimes you might want to just for the sake of getting them levels. Because you do keep experience that you gain even if you lose a tournament. You don't keep items though, so do be careful of that because it does carry things over, so... If you got, like, uh... some good items on you, make sure that your, uh, that your... that your... run-through's gonna count if you use them. But, once you get past Deep Jungle, I forget if you were there or not, but once you get to Deep Jungle, you get Cure, so... that... All that immediately helps things out a ton because you don't have to use potions and stuff all the time. This thing makes a lot of watery noises when I hit it. Although that could also just be the Keyblade itself doing that. Oh my god. Oh. Never mind. No, I still can't get that. Ah, okay, you are in Halloween Town or Atlantica. Yeah. Cure is wonderful. Have that hotkey, like, all the time. And when you get it, Arrow, aka Wind, because that, uh, is a damage reducer. You will be able to, uh, tank hits a lot better with it turned on. Good bean. Also, when you get access to it, I would recommend doing Neverland uh, as soon as you possibly can, because when you finish Neverland, you get Tinkerbell as a summon, and Tinkerbell is awesome because she just heals you forever. What does gravity- No, I figured you were talking about uh, the game. Gravity is a very situational, uh, power. Um, it basically can pull flying enemies down, and there are a small- There's a- there, there's a puzzle somewhere out there that basically requires you to pull things down using the gravity spell. Normally, I haven't really found it to be that useful, though, so... I mean, maybe it is, and I just haven't really done anything with it, but, yeah. It basically just pulls things down. And then there's Stop, which, eh, 
Eh, normally you can pretty much do without it, but it's absolutely essential for one of the secret fights. Which just so happens to be in Neverland. Anywho. I think I'm going the wrong way. Gotta go to Ansem's house! Getting reaction prompts. Oh, oh, there it is. But, of course. Oh, you gonna heal me? Gonna heal me? Gonna heal me? No? Fine. I'm here, Goofy. Wah! Oh, that's fun. Wee! <laughs> Bouncing him around like a basketball. All right, so we're back in the Bailey. Um, gotta remember where his house is. It's been a while. Ooh, I see a crown. I don't know if I can get it from here. I'm almost positive I can't. Let go, Sora. That's the restoration site. Don't want to go there. Isn't that what everyone wants in life? To just be able to beat up Ursula with a giant key? I mean, she's kind of a bitch, right? Wait, is this the right way? Although, I know... I know a good way to shortcut. I just gotta find a save room. Oof! It is indeed over. Fuck you. Back off. Ooh, picking those up. Somebody come quick. Hoil. Whoa, okay, that is a funky... Actually, I think I'm getting closer because uh, these guys are becoming more frequent. These weird Tron enemies. Oh, she's definitely evil, and her evil shenanigans don't stop there. Okay. Was I getting hurt? I think I was getting hurt by that. Ooh. You sound like video games when you attack. Like old video games. This ain't an old video game. This is a... Not-so-old video game. This is a, this is a mid-2000s video game. Fuck you. You generally have to complete each group of worlds before you can hit up the next one. Because that's usually when you get the navigation piece. Hmm. I think I might be going the wrong way after all. Unless they all just show up in every map. Area. Back off. 
can okay, no, I cannot jump down from there. Yeah, no, you've still got a little ways to go before you get to Neverland. But once you do, you'll be happy. Because again, Tink is a bean. I want to go this way. My god, Goofy! I'm trying to catch up to you. Oof. Stop doing that, Goofy. I love that move, but you keep moving them away from me, and I can't Catch up. Oh, shit. I missed that prop terribly. Ooh, level up, Donald. Donald, my bean. And I went this way again. Fuck off. stuff over here. Alright, this was a good idea then, me. Ooh, and there's a great map here. Good. I like maps. Oh, and an AP boot. Okay. All of that was just worth it. All of that was just worth it. Oh. I will never say no to app boosts. Nice! Do it up. Anywho... Let's uh, apply that app boost. That very apt boost. He was on me. And let's see what other new crazy abilities we can turn on. Ooh, we've got four whole points uh, open. Magnet burst? No. Um. Draw? Ah. That just picks up new, um, nearby items. Okay. Um, experience boosts. Negative combo, air combo. Ooh. Okay, I'll turn that on. I have kind of grown fond of doing air combos, so... Uh, oh, and there's another okay. item here. Ooh, a torn page! Very nice. Saving again. 
And then I'm gonna gummy out of here and, uh, see if I can shortcut it over to Ansem's house. A new episode was added. Uh, oh, there's only two save points available. Um... Well, that totally, uh, was, uh... Oh, uh, for kinda not. <laughs> Gotta go to the computer room. I'm gonna do everything I can not to abuse that Sonic meme. But that probably means I gotta... Oh, hello there, Fortnite. I heard that you installed yourself an update. <laughs> um... Why did I install that? <laughs> Um... Anywho. Uh... Let's go back to the world map, because... I think the thing I want... is over here-ish, anyway. Maybe after I do the Tron world, I'll do some of the Hundred Acre Wood stuff that I have clearly unlocked because torn pages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I randomly downloaded a couple downloaded a couple of free things just in case. Anything ever just kind of impromptu came up. Plus, also, I've got the storage for it now. I don't think I'll ever actually get into Fortnite, though. I admittedly do like Apex Legends, though. Apex is pretty cool. From the little that I've played of it. I haven't played, like, it in a couple... I haven't really played it since Hoax... Like, Hoax and I played it that one time, and then... Uh, it was, uh, uh, brain thoughts. Uh oh. Ooh. I tried playing it once, uh, but for some reason there was a problem with my old Epic account, so I just kind of haven't tried touching it ever since. It wasn't letting me log in for some reason. Apex is legit good. Like, I actually kind of had fun playing it with, uh, with friends. But I'm pretty sure you're acutely aware of what free-to-play darling I'm kind of heavily invested in right now, so... I will say this, um, I, I will say this, um, if you like Apex Legends, then, um, assuming you, you can find it at an affordable price, which you usually can, I would strongly suggest checking out Titanfall 2. Just saying. Titanfall 2 is a fun game, and it has one hell of an excellent campaign. Stupid. 
stupid ball. With its spikes. Apex Legends takes place within the universe of, uh, of TF, so... It even had some of the same weapons. They actually just introduced a retardedly powerful weapon from, uh... Titanfall 2 called the L-Star, which, uh... If you, if you ask Koex about that thing, that is one of the funnest weapons in the game, just because it just... melts people. Hey, no hurries or worries. Oh boy. Oh god, what is all this color and lights? Sometimes this game's camera just loves to be the most awkward thing ever. Also, what even was that? Yeah, I, I imagine I got a bright crystal from that. Oh, I think I'm going the wrong... Oh, wait, no. Am I going the right way? Gold Freak! Welcome to the stream, Bean. More or less awkward than some of the camera shots in FF10. Hey man, FF10 ain't an action RPG. Where camera positions may be a little bit more important. For hell's sake, Goofy! Stop taking the rollerball away from me! I'm trying to beat it up with a key. All right, jump. There we go. Boing, boing, boing. Ah, uh, that's really fun. Get up, Goofy. Come on. <laughs> Gets up. Come on. Oh, oh the cutscene shots. I think I know what you're talking about too. You're talking about the fan service, aren't you? All them butt shots. Well, there's a difference between awkward in the sense that I don't feel comfortable with this shot and awkward as in, oh my god, what the hell is even happening in this battle that I am currently partaking in. Okay. I sincerely hope I'm going the right way. There's the castle gate. I think this is the right way. There's a welcoming committee over there, but you know what? I'm going to ignore them and ouch. Oh, this is... Okay, this just goes right to the Bailey. Alright, follow me map me. He will eventually figure out where Ansem's room is again. I think it might actually be this way. Oh no, that's the restoration site. Oh wait, actually. Might be around here. Yeah, you like it when people don't care about you, don't you? Alright, I think this is Ansem's house. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm more so in the right area now. I was... ...a little lost earlier, but, uh... ...that's just par for the course with me. I think I found the back door into Ansem's house. Boop! 
the corridors. Yeah, here we go. Alright. I'm happy and good and know where I am, so I will happily fight you. Happily fight you and, uh, be reminded of Geometry Wars with all the particle effects. If you, uh, ever got into game development, you would make a game in the style of Kingdom Hearts? Ah. Oh. There's definitely some other good games to, uh, to exam- are you, so are, you, are you talking about, like, the, uh, active time combat with also the little menu? Because the little menu is, uh, is pretty nifty. If a little cumbersome at times. Especially if you're fishing for items. Whoa! I think from an action RPG uh, standpoint, um, another Japanese one uh, developed one that might be worth taking a bit of a gander at is uh, Nier Automata. That game's got some funky systems going on with it. I get you, you're one of those types of beings. You want to make spiritual successors to things, essentially. Or spiritually inspired things, I guess you should- I guess I should say. Is that something that you're far along into? <laughs> Fuck off! You stupid robot! Oh my gosh. What is happening? Oh my, come on. You're getting stories, voice clips, and more recently soundtracks, if that's what you mean. Uh, and yeah, spiritual type stuff and games that are mishmashes of the. Uh... Ah, cool. Well, I was. Well, you you were saying like when you become when you, when you actually get into game development and stuff like that. Yeah. I was kind of wondering what you meant by that. Like, is that something that you're actively like uh, studying or? Or pursuing professionally? Back off. Just a dream at this point, sadly. Hey, that's how most things start. Oh, that's cool. So you actually do have some, like, coding experience. Or, or, well, and now modding experience can also be coding experience, depending on what you're doing. A lot of people know Luau, for example. Ha! Hey, that can still be enough. That can still be enough. Sometimes those are the people that, like, some smaller... 
like, uh, teams want. I mean, hell, Valve, the dudes who make Half-Life and Portal and all, and, and Steam and all that stuff, like, a huge chunk of their, uh, initial staff were modders, essentially. Where am I going? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, you have not. What do you generally, uh, mod st uh, what do you generally, uh, modify? I know Gary's mod makes use of Luau scripting. Uh. And other source engine stuff by extension, I should say. I like custom campaigns. Custom campaigns are cool. And sure, if you want, Lantern. Also... Is this for anything? <laughs> is this... Also, is that something that you've been doing for, um, like, uh, a long time? Or is this, like, a recent thing that you're just like, you know what, I'm gonna learn how to do this stuff more. Alright, here is... there's Ansem's study. Gorsh, it's only us! Yikes. Oh, so you've been doing, uh, you've been fiddle-faddling with stuff for about eight years now? That's cool. Never too late to take your game to the next level. You can't talk to Tron if this room gets taken over. Did you talk with Sid? Did you check in with Sid? Uh-huh. And the Eradicator? It's almost done. Great! Say, Leon, why don't you go work with Sid? I have this place under control. Are you sure? All by yourself? Er, sorry, it's all yours. Nice! I'm old. <laughs> Um, we still can't get in- no, we still can't get in touch with Tron. Maybe you guys should give him- uh, give it a shot. No, we'll go talk to him in person. Then I have a favor to ask. When you find Tron, could you tell him to come to the I.O. Tower? That's where we'll upload the MCP eradication program. The I.O. Tower, got it! Goofy, what does I.O. mean again? Oh, gorsh, Sora. Thanks. And watch your backs. Hey, man! Level design is just as good. You might be able to... You might not be able to, uh... Tron. No, yep. You might be able to code things perfectly, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you've got the affinity for, uh... ...for making actual worlds or stuff like that. There's a lot of moving parts. I 
I'm not much of a coder, but uh, I can definitely do VA and soundtrack stuff, for example. 